Okay, so this woman's envy has went too far, okay? So I commend people who can accept that they are jealous and they can accept that they are envious and change it, okay? I commend, I commend you. I commend you, okay? If you're watching this and you have an issue and you feel like, man, I'm envious, like I have to compete, okay? Some people, you, you, you struggle with over-competitiveness, okay? And that is a big thing for people. They were highly competitive, okay, to where it turns into envy, to where it turns into greed, to where they are trying to take out the competition. And this is what's going on, okay? This woman has gotten to a point where she got so competitive, okay, that she had that she pretended to be a particular person so bad that she got she has to take this individual out, okay? So this person is a very passive aggressive person. This person could be a person who pays hackers to hack an account to stop and shut down a particular person's account. I told you guys what happened, okay? And I told you guys constantly trying to do it. I said it's not going to happen this time. But why? Because they're going to catch you actually did it before. What they did was I talked to you guys. I said that's part of an assassination ritual, okay, to get you silenced, okay? What they do is they do this while they probably have a hit on you. They probably are stalking your life. This is what they do in order to completely remove you. And then that's when they try and kill you. Okay. So yes, that's what's going on. Okay. This particular person, a lot of people are saying, oh, you know, you look like you're not on the run crazy. Yeah. These people could never, that's what I'm trying to tell you. They could never. Okay. These people are sitting here walking around scared, got all these different things. Just, um, you don't see me doing that because I'm used to it. You understand? I'm used to this type of stuff. I'm used to women trying to kill me. I'm used to women and men coming, uh, trying to get close to me. I'm used to hitmen sitting on the side of me talking about, hey, how you doing? You feel what I'm saying? And then they got a gun in their butt pocket. I'm used to it. I'm used to people with knives sitting around with me. I'm used to people moving into the neighborhood just to be where I live. Okay. I'm used to that. I've been going through this all my life, okay? But what I'm trying to tell you is these people are so competitive, okay? And they're going to continue and it's going to land someone in jail, okay? Not only in jail, they're going to take this person out. This person is going to end up taking their own self out, messing with you. I'm trying to tell you. These type of people are going to end up with terminal diseases that they cannot heal from, messing with you. And they're all going to go fall out dead, 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 one by one. And no one had to touch them. You didn't have to do no witchcraft. Nobody had to shoot them, okay? Because when God has a call for you, I don't know who I'm talking to. When God had a mission for you and someone's still trying to take you out, some of y'all cannot accept correction. Some of you, 